Okay, so here we go. We derived the quadratic formula, and because you derived it, you can now use it. Every time you use the quadratic formula on your paper for your practice problems, I want you to sing it. That's right. I want you to sing it because how many lyrics do you have in your brain of songs and you've memorized all of them? I bet you've memorized a thousand songs. Best way to memorize something is to sing it. So we are going to sing our way to success. First thing we want to do is put this in standard form. Is it? It certainly is. Check. Then, very simply, we want to find A, B, and C. A is equal to 9. B is equal to 14. And C is equal to 3. Next step. We're going to start singing. Because if we're going to use a formula, we're going to we're going to um, sing our way to writing it down. Sing and write the quadratic formula. OK, are you all ready? Here we go x equals negative b plus or minus radical b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Yay! Very simply, you're going to now plug it in, plug it in, plug in the values for a, b, and c. Be careful with the negative. X is equal to B is 14. So I have a negative 14 plus or minus B squared, 14 squared, minus 4 times 9 times 3. Everybody with me? all over 2 times 9. We are going to simplify, let me change that, simplify the radican first. Okay? So we have x is equal to negative 14 plus or minus 14 squared, the square root of 14 squared, which is 196. If I have a negative 4 times 9, that's negative 36 times 3 is negative 108 all over 18. We still haven't simplified the radicand. X is equal to negative 14 plus or minus the square root of 196 minus 108, 88, all over 18. There is a perfect square factor that I can factor out of 88. So X is equal to negative 14 plus or minus the square root of 4 times 22 all over 18. x is equal to negative 14 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 22 all over 18. I've simplified that radicand, and now I can simplify the expression that I have there. The easiest way to simplify this expression is to take the greatest monomial factor of the, numer the numerator. Okay, let me fix that. 
the numerator. So if I look at that numerator, what common factor do you see? I see a 2, so I'm going to factor out a 2 times the quantity of negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 22 all over 18. I can now, I can now reduce my fraction. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 18 nine times, and I have x is equal to negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 22 over 9. And that is our answer. How many solutions do I have? There are two solutions, and they are x is equal to negative 7 plus the square root of 22 over 9. x is equal to negative 7 minus the square root of 22 over 9. Okay, it's time for example 2. Is that in standard form? We have 3x squared plus 17x equals negative 10. And the answer is it's not. So we're going to add 10 to both sides of the equation in order to put that in standard form. 3x squared plus 17x plus 10 equals 0. What's next? We need to find a, b, and c. a is equal to 3, b is equal to 17, and c is equal to 10. Okay. Clear your throat. We're going to sing and write the quadratic formula. Okay, not just sing it, but write it as well. Everybody ready? Here we go. X equals negative B plus or minus radical b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now that we've sung the song, all we need to do is plug it in, plug it in. So we're going to plug in the values for a, b, and c. x equals negative 17 plus or minus the square root of 17 squared minus 4 times 3 times 10 all over 2 times 3. Simplify. Okay, x is equal to negative 17 plus or minus the square root, 17 squared is 289, minus 12 times 10 is 120, all over 6. Not simplified yet. x is equal to negative 17 plus or minus the square root of 169, all over 6. Oh, happy day! Why do I say that? 169 is a perfect square. The square root of 169 is 13, all over 6, and I'm just left working with integers. So at this point, I'm going to write the two equations. And I'll make it easier for me to do the math if I separate it now. So x is equal to negative 17 plus 13 over 6. x is equal to negative 17 minus 13 over 6. x is equal to negative 4 over 6. I can reduce that fraction by 2 over 2. So x is equal to negative 2 thirds x is equal to negative 30 over 6, x is equal to 
5. So x is equal to negative 5. So my solution set is going to be negative 2 thirds, negative 5. And now you have used the quadratic formula and derived the quadratic formula.